Hi, this is pre algebra, and this is the last lesson of topic four, four six solve simple interest problems. In this lesson, you'll be able to apply percent reasoning to solve simple interest problems. Let's look at explore it first. Jared compares the offers at two different banks to decide where he should open a savings account. The first one says, open a savings account. We'll add $100 to your first deposit, okay? And then the second one says, when you open a savings account with us, you'll, we'll add 5% of your first deposit to the account. So, $100 versus 5%. Draw a representation to show how much would be in the first savings account in, if Jared's initial deposit were D dollars, okay? So looking at his um, D dollars, the first account will be D plus $100, right? And then the second account, whatever is 5%, how do you get 5% of D? Multiply the decimal equivalent to the percentage, 0 0.05, times D. And that's just your, your 5%, right? You're going to, that's going to be added to whatever D you have, okay? So it's D plus 100 and 0 0.05 times D plus D. Okay. Part B, draw a representation to show how much would be in the second savings account. Oh, you're supposed to draw. So D plus 100 and then D plus 5% um, of D, okay? In the second savings account, if Jared's initial deposit were D dollars. Um, yeah. Oh, that's the first one. So this is the first one and that's part A. And this is the second one and that's part B. Okay, part C. So it's D plus 100 for the first one. And for the second one is 0 0.05 D plus D. Use the two representations you drew to explain how the offers at the two banks are similar and how they're different. How, first of all, how are, they diff how are they similar? They will both add something, right? They'll both add some money your deposit is not gonna get less, right? They're, they're not gonna take away money from you. They will both add some money to D. But then why, what are, what's different about them? The first one, first bank adds $100 no matter the, how big or small the amount of D is, okay? But second bank adds 5% of deposit. So 5% could be smaller or greater than $100 depending on how much you deposit, okay? Focus on math practices. Jared's first deposit is 500. Which bank should he choose? So if he chooses the first bank, he has 500 plus 100, so he has 600. If he chooses a second uh, bank, 0 0.05 times 500 plus 500 is going to be what? What's 1% um, of 500? Just 5, right? So 5 times 5 is 25. That is one way to get a 5%, or you just multiply them manually, okay? 25 plus 500 is 525. So if he's just 
is depositing $500, he should choose the first bank. Because the first bank will give you additional 100, but the second one will give you additional $25 only because 5% of 500 is only 25. All right, let's look at the next page. Think about how the simple interest show proportional reasoning and relate to the person equation throughout the lesson. Example one, find simple interest. Okay, Victoria opens a savings account with a deposit of $300. She will earn 1.6% simple interest each year on her money. How much interest will she earn over five years, assuming she does not add or take out any money? So she's going to keep the same original money and then say she just leaves it there. She doesn't touch it. OK, um, and then uh, she's going to get a simple interest every year. Simple interest means it's the, the interest does not change. You're going to start with the same interest and then it's gonna be the same over the five years, okay? So vocabulary, interest that is applied to the initial amount only is called simple interest. The initial amount is called the principal. So the principal amount is what? Deposit of 300. So the simple interest means the interest, 1.6% uh, of 300 is gonna be added every year, okay? 1.6% of 300, it doesn't change. 1.6% of 300, and then the next year, you don't count the next year's amount. You're just gonna get 1.6% of 300 next year, and then the next year, and then so on. That's a simple interest. Okay, step one, use the percent equation to find the amount of interest earned in one year. S, vocabulary. An interest rate is a percent used to calculate interest on the principal. So we can also use the part equation like this. Part, part is equal to percent times the whole, right? Part here in this situation would be the interest amount. And that's going to be the interest rate and percentage times the principal amount, the starting deposit. Okay, so here your starting deposit is 300. You don't know the interest amount, that's going to be X. Interest rate is 0 0.016 because it's 16% divided by 100. Okay, so um, interest amount is going to be 4.8 for every year. Simple interest earned on the principal in one year is $4.8. Multiply the interest earned in one year by five to calculate the total interest she'll earn over five years. That's 24. So she'll earn $24 in interest over five years. Let's try this question. See if you can solve it by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Victoria has another account at the bank that pays two half uh, percent of simple interest. How much interest will she earn in eight years on an initial deposit of $250, assuming she neither adds to nor withdraws from the account? Okay, so first you gotta define the important information. So interest after one year. First of all, you need to figure out what the first deposit is. Deposit of 250. And this is where the principal deposit goes, 250. And that is the percentage of interest, okay? So you have 2.12%. What's two, two half, uh, wait, two half percent in decimal? That's, you divide by 100. That's 2.5%, so 0 0.00, uh, 0 0.025, 0 0.025 is the decimal, 
of this percentage. So 0 0.025 times 250 will be 6.25. So interest after eight years will be 6.25 times eight. $50. Victoria will earn $50 in interest over eight years. So interest, oh, uh, yeah. So this one expressed in decimal is 0 0.025, okay? Would the interest for the second year be the same if it were calculated on the total after the first year? Why or why not? Okay, would the interest for the second year be the same if it were calculated on the total after the first year? So after the first year, you get an interest. And then after the total, you, after you get an interest, that's the total of the first year. But if you get the second year's interest based on the total, would it be the same? No, because your total changes, right? Your deposit is not 250 anymore. Your total becomes uh, 256.25 because after first year total is 256.25. So 2.5% of 256.25 is not 6.25, or you can say it's greater than 6.25 because let's calculate that 0 0.025 times 256.25 is 6.40625 and that's that's greater than 6.25 okay let's look at example two um, Maya's older sister got a loan to buy a used car for $3,400. What is the interest rate on the loan? Step one, we're going to multiply the interest amount by 12 to find the interest for one year. Look at the poster. It says borrow $3,400 for this car today and pay only 8.5 interest every month. Okay. So you're not going to buy it. It's, it's, borrowing. It's a loan. Okay. It's a used car. Um, it's not a new car. So that's why it's cheap. Okay. So step one, you're going to multiply the interest amount by two, 12 so that you get um, the interest for one year. 8.5 times 12 is 102. Wait, 10.2. Wait. Yeah, it's 102. Use the percent equation to find the interest rate. Interest amount is equal to interest rate times loan amount. So 102 equals P for percentage of interest rate times loan amount 3,400. In order to figure out P, you divide both sides by 3,400 and you get 0 0.03. And if you convert that to the percentage, multiply by 100, um, the simple interest rate is 3% for one year. So let's look at the try question. Um, see if you can do it by yourself. Come back when you're ready. Another company will lend Maya's older sister $4,000. Every month, she will pay 11.88 in interest. What is the interest rate rounded to the nearest tenth of a percent for one year? So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to write the interest amount, which is 11.88 is equal to, oh wait, for one year. So we, we first have to multiply 11.88 times 12 because 11.88 is for every month. So for one year, we want to find the interest amount for one year, you have to multiply that by 12. Okay, 142.56. And so interest amount 142.56 is equal to percentage P times the loan amount 4,000. And so P is equal to 142.56 divided by 4,000. 
and that is equal to 0 0.03564. And if you convert that to percentage, that is 3.564%. And so for one year, it's about 3.6%, okay? Rounded to the nearest 10. Example three, the last example, find the principal. Jake opened a savings account that earns 1.5% interest. Jake estimates that assuming uh, he neither adds to nor withdraws from his account, it's going to stay the same. He will earn $240 in interest after 10 years. How much did Jake deposit when he opened the account? We don't know what he how much he deposited, right? But he knows, we know that uh, his, his account has 1.5% of a simple interest. And he's, uh, he's estimating $240 in interest after 10 years. So how can using an equation help make sense of the problem situation? We're gonna use the equation to figure out the missing variable, right? So before we do that, we're gonna be ready to find, um, uh, plug in all the numbers in the equation. The equation is gonna be in terms of year. So we're gonna find the amount of interest for one year. 240 divided by 10, is 24. Why do we divide it by 10? Because we know the information in 10 years, right? 240 in 10 years. Um, if you divide 240 by 10, you get the interest amount for one year. So 24 is for one year. And then you're gonna use the percent equation to find the initial deposit or principal D. The interest amount is 24. That's equal to 0 0.015 if you convert 1.5% to decimal. Um, and then that's times initial deposit D that we're solving for. So divide both sides by 0 0.015. 24 divided by 0 0.015 is 1,600. He deposited $1,600. All right, let's try the last try it. See if you can do it by yourself. Come back when you're ready. He leans or older brother borrowed money for school. He took out a loan that charges 6% simple interest. He will end up paying $720 in interest after six years. How much did Caitlin's brother's brother borrow for school? Okay, so first, before you plug in numbers into equation, look at what you have, 6% simple interest, okay? Um, and 720, after six years. So you're gonna divide 720 by what? Six, so that you get the amount of interest in one year, okay? And that's gonna be $120 in one year. So 120 amount of interest is, should be equal to the percentage 0 0.06 if you convert 6% to decimal. And then that's times that by the initial deposit. In order to get D, you divide both sides by 0 0.06. So D is 120 divided by 0 0.06, which is 2,000, exactly $2,000. All right, that was our lesson, solve simple interest problems. Mm -hmm. Just remember that simple interest represents a proportional relationship between the yearly interest and the principal or initial amount. The ratio of yearly interest to principal is the interest rate, okay? All right, that's it for this lesson. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching chapter uh, four videos. I'll see you in the next chapter. Bye.